Hello, this is Gray Hughes. This is a new case starring Lois Reese, the new barbarian who killed her husband and a woman merely for looking like her so she could take that person's identity. All right, she killed them both with a gun. So let's listen to the press conference that just came out, I think, yesterday. Good afternoon. I'm on the sheriff. Call my Marcino. I thank you for attending today's press conference. We'd also like to welcome Hamid Hunter from the State Attorney's Office and John Kenzie from the U.S. Marshals. On April 9, 2018, the Lee County Sheriff's Office responded to a medical assistance call at 645 Old San Carlos Boulevard in Fort Myers Beach. Upon arrival, deputies encountered a deceased 59-year-old female, later identified as Pamela Hutchinson, who was found to have suffered fatal gunshot wounds. The medical examiner determined that Ms. Hutchinson was the victim of a homicide. The Lee County Sheriff's Office Major Crimes Unit responded and assumed the investigation. Ms. Hutchinson's purse was found to be in disarray and all cash, credit cards, and identification appeared to have been removed. Additionally, the decedent's car keys, vehicle, a white Acura TL with a Florida tag of Y37TAA were determined to be missing. Further investigation revealed that Ms. Hutchinson was targeted by the suspect due to the similarities in their appearance. Investigation concluded that Reese is currently a person of interest in a recent homicide that took place in Dodge County, Minnesota. Our major crimes unit has worked around the clock and has obtained an arrest warrant for Reese, a white female with a date of birth of February 28, 1962. Our detectives have reviewed hundreds of hours of video and traveled throughout the state and collected hundreds of items for forensic examination and have coordinated efforts with our state and federal agencies. It has been determined that Reese has fled southwest Florida and has traveled through the Gulf states and into Corpus Christi, Texas area and current whereabouts are unknown. Reese is wanted for murder, grand theft of a motor vehicle, and grand theft and criminal use of personal identification. Reese's mode of operation is to befriend women who resemble her and steal their identity. U.S. Marshals are actively involved in a national search for this dangerous fugitive. Reese is considered armed and dangerous and should not be approached if located. The Lee County Sheriff's Office is asking both the local and national media, as well as the public, to share Reese's information and to contact Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers at 1-800-780-TIPS if they have any information on Reese's whereabouts. I can't take any questions at this time, and I want to thank you all for being here. Thank you. So now here is another video from another article that has a little bit more information. Search for the woman at the center of a story that sounds like something out of a crime novel. Authorities say Lois Reese killed a woman who resembled her in order to assume her identity. She's also suspected of killing her own husband. And ABC's Ariel Reshef is on the story. Ariel, good morning. Good morning, Dan and Paula. Authorities tell me they're now trying to figure out why a grandmother with no prior criminal record turned into an alleged cold-blooded killer. This morning, officials warning she is believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. This morning, this Minnesota grandmother, the subject of an urgent nationwide manhunt and the suspect in two murders more than 1,700 miles apart. Police say 56-year-old Lois Rees shot her husband David in their rural Minnesota home in March, then took off in their white Cadillac Escalade. Soon after, spotted at an Iowa casino. U.S. Marshals joining the search as Rees allegedly drove to Fort Myers, Florida. Authorities say she befriended 59-year-old Pamela Hutchinson, a stranger bearing a similar physical appearance, before shooting her to death. Authorities releasing these surveillance images that they say show Reese leaving Hutchinson's motel. Investigators claim they found... Man, she's a real beauty. ...found the victim's purse in disarray. Cash, credit cards, IDs missing. Her white Acura sedan stolen. Reese's mode of operation is to befriend women who resemble her and steal their identity. Officials connecting the crimes. It's believed the same firearm was used in both the Minnesota and Florida homicide. 
That stolen car police believe Reese may be driving last seen one week ago in Corpus Christi, Texas, just three miles from Mexico. Border Patrol now on alert. She knows that what she's doing is not going to last very long. In other words, she's on a very self-destructive course. Authorities tell me so far Reese doesn't appear to have crossed the border into Mexico. They say she could be anywhere and investigators tell me they're concerned she could do this again. And here's another article about this case. And when I was going through the article, I found an image of where I think David Reese, yeah, David Reese 54, where he lived and where he was killed. This is where they both lived apparently. And if you, if you can see that, I'm not sure. Let me try to zoom in. You can see the house right there. And I was able to locate it on Google Earth in a small town, right next to a small town named Blooming Prairie. All right, and if I put this on the street view right here, uh, let me move this over so you can actually see it. You can see that this is the same house right there. So take a look at that, and then I'll move back over the article. You see how there's like a little, I don't know if that's a silo, a little mini silo, uh, that shape right there, the roof, and then let's go back to Google Earth. See, silo and the roof, and it's the same house, all right? So we know this is where they lived. It's out in the middle of basically nowhere, to be honest with you. Look, look at this. I mean, it's just nothing. Nothing really even close to around there or anything. It's just a small little town. All right, now from here, she actually traveled. I guess what they were saying was eventually she ended up in Florida. And let me get the... The video that we watched earlier actually gives you a clear route, but I'm going to just discuss when she got to Florida. So she went to Florida and somehow found this Pamela Hutchinson individual who happened to look like her and then killed her. Now, Pamela didn't live here. She was just visiting a friend who was grieving a death in the family. And she was just here visiting and stayed by herself in this hotel. And here's what it looks like. There's actually a little bit of Google Earth street view that goes right to the edge here. So this is the apartment complex. Or maybe it's a, like a condo where you can rent out. I'm not really sure. Maybe a hotel. So it's right there. So somehow she went in there and then killed this woman and took all her... ID and then her car and then took off and headed to Texas. Now Pamela Hutchinson, she actually lives in Florida but further away. And it's like near Bayshore Gardens. And I guess, I guess the, the town is actually called South uh, Brandonton. So there was two locations that I found where she had lived. So she either lived right here. So let's do a little st uh, street view on this. So she either lived right here. And these nice little, looks like condos again. Or she lived a little bit down this street right here in this area. Actually in that specific house right there. I have to go to the other side of the street so I can actually see it. All right. Huh. That doesn't even look like a house, but they actually had her listed there. So I would think that maybe she gave her address uh, of her place of employment as well. So she probably actually lived in that other house that we were just looking at. I don't know why that house right there was listed, but it, was, it wasn't the main address on the site that I looked at. So she lived there, and then she just went on vacation and tried to visit a friend who was grieving, and then she gets killed because she happened to look like somebody. Now, Lois, on the other hand, she left Florida 
and was last seen going through Texas. All right, now what's strange is when I was looking up her address on this particular site that I use, here, here she is right here, Lois A. Reese. Now there was actually three references that all look the same. They are the same person. You got a 55, 56, and 48, but look, they all have the same addresses, 75859. This is actually the address that we just looked at where the husband was killed. Okay, and then when you look at this, you see Lois A. Reese, Lois A. Reese, and you, this one actually had a little, like, location sticker, notification. I don't know how that appears, on this map or why but i wonder if on her way through florida she actually kept going and is perhaps near nevada or california at this point driving as far away as possible almost and near where she can gamble because she loves to gamble she's addicted to gambling she's in debt and that is probably i mean nevada where where better place to go than nevada if you're a gambler right so I guess that's where we're at now. She's actually on the loose. We haven't caught her yet. So if you happen to see this woman right here, that's what she looks like with blonde hair. All right, so that's what she looks like with dark hair, and this is her with blonde hair. All right, just a, just a total gem. So I guess that's where we're at right now. We've got a barbarian on the loose, killing just for looking like her so she can have your ID so she can go gambling. Yeah. Man, our society is just full of winners these days, isn't it? All right. So I guess until next time, everybody, be safe out there, and uh, maybe we can catch one of these barbarians.